All right, y'all. Welcome back. Uh, welcome back to Quality Turkey Management from the Whitetail Cartel. We had to take a little detour this week because we had a situation come up with timing of weather. We had a nice tropical storm come up out of the Gulf. It came this way. We had the spring into action, and that ramped up the chufa plot planting by about a good two weeks, maybe three. Uh, now, if you enjoy the content we're putting out, and if you're like us and you think that, you know what, if we don't do something to improve our turkey habitat and get turkeys reproducing and back on the ground, if you like that, take the time now, click subscribe, hit like, Leave us a comment and help us bring you better content that's going to help you. Because at the end of the day, I've said it a million times, not at all an expert. Just somebody who for many years has tried to produce habitat that's conducive to producing wild turkeys and deer and quail. Uh, started off with quail and we went from there. Now, we this is us getting ready, throwing in a chew plot quickly because timing is everything. So stay with us, enjoy, hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll keep it coming if you want it. Thanks for watching, here we go. Yep, that changes some things. That's gonna change up some timing. There's possibly a tropical storm. Uh, forecasting over the next week for it to possibly ease up through Georgia in our area. So that's gonna make some changes. All right, I was gonna wait to plant my chufa plot, which I normally do till late June, early July. However, that little weather blip, that changes things. You're gonna have to go into some different little situations now. Calls for a different plan. So that's gonna speed up all my timing. Moisture is a big ticket. The quicker I can get it up, the faster I can keep turkeys off it. So, we're headed to the co-op. See the temp? We're never more than about five days away from drought here. <clears throat> when it's 98 degrees, uh, whatever moisture you had, if you have that for several days, it's gone. But, we got a tropical storm in the forecast. Let's see if you can see those guys jumping across the road. Okay, got an air mail situation going on here. I like that. Got my sample bags, got my dirt. Fixing to fill them. Right. Filled up and ready. Taking them in, dropping them off. Okay, got my chufa bags ready to go, ready to plant. We pivoted a little bit with this storm coming in. I got a hustle. Supposedly, we got a low pressure system moving in, tropical depression. This is going to make me ramp up my chufa plant by about two weeks, but moisture, two to three inches of rain. Sprout the chufa quicker, turkeys don't get to it. I got a hustle. Here we go. First place we're going is what I call a throwaway plot. I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, this is my throwaway plot, meaning that I know they're going to molest it hard. Uh, probably will not make anything by winter time because they'll find it early, but it'll keep them off my other plot. So it's worth it to me. It's long, it's linear, it's skinny, and the turkeys will hammer it. But throwaway plot, pretty good little trick. Not gonna spray it with post. Not going to put down trip land. The only thing I have in it is the cost of the seed and the labor, but this will feed them and hopefully it keeps them off my good plot. Trap land. Nice and orange. Mm. 
And we got the 2004 Kawasaki, still rolling. Which reminds me, old people, old dogs, and old equipment. If you treat them right, they still got plenty of value left in them. Who knows? They might even bite. Okay, crew and I are putting down the trap land. Oh, wait a minute. What crew? Nope, just pink. Got one in Africa. I'm just kidding. Got one in Africa serving our country. God bless him and thank you, James, for your service. Got another one in OT school, was working his butt off trying to pass that. So the least I can do is get us a little chupa plot going so that when everybody's back in formation, we may have a little turkey during the spring. All right, got my chufa, got my black bucket. Now it's time to walk my butt and throw some seeds. Are there easier ways? Absolutely. However, my fat butt needs to walk. So. Just another day in the gym, baby. Another day in the gym. Okay, favorite part. I have gotten the chufa put out. It's all on the acreage. I got my hair adjusted. So I'm not putting it in too heavy. Just light, not aggressive. And best part, we're covering it. Chufa plot buttoned up, throwaway plots done. Now we just gotta pray for rain and we gotta hope that Jim Cantore is half the man I think he is. And if he is, we'll be getting rain about Sunday. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you next time.